The world is set on marching towards a more electrified future. This sounds great to some, but many others are worried. One of the biggest issues for EV fence sitters is charging time. And that's a fair thing to be worried about. But according to the American Chemical Society, the amount of energy we can put into batteries and the time required to do it is all about to change. The ACS just had its fall meeting. During this time, one of the lead researchers had some interesting insights to share. He stated that his team had seen batteries being charged to over 90% in just 10 minutes time. Now, this isn't actually the most interesting part as we already have the tech to do that, but it comes at a cost of damage to the battery packs. What the research is now showing is that there are ways to do this without damaging the pack. That's the bit that could be a game changer. Right now, on commercially available battery systems, if you try to force energy in at faster rates, you risk damaging the system. The way it works with the lithium ion system is that when the pack is being charged, you're moving the lithium ions from the cathode or positive side over to the anode or negative side. They flow through an electrolyte solution to arrive at their destination, which I think is not Gatorade. What are electrolytes? Do you even know? It's what they use to make Bronda. If you push the charging too quickly, the internal components of the whole arrangement can incur bits of damage. And it's that damage that leads to battery degradation over time. But researchers are finding ways to better optimize charging speed so that the ions end up where they're supposed to be in the manner we intend for them to arrive. And they're doing so with artificial intelligence. Yes, so far this video is way over my head too, but I'm trying my best to explain it based on what I know about how all this works. With machine learning, very smart computers working with very smart engineers can design ever more efficient battery packs and also far smarter charging stations, which is a good thing with regards to that last bit since hopefully it means I won't pull up to an Electrify America station in the middle of nowhere and find only two out of the six stations are even up and running. How does all this research help us, the end consumers though? That's the real question. The researchers say their goal is refueling times much closer to what you find at a traditional fuel pump. Also, faster and more efficient fueling times could lead to less reliance on larger batteries. Smaller battery packs would begin to make more sense, and that also leads to less expensive electric vehicles. Right now, the packs are expensive and big. Hopefully, all this research starts to change that. It makes sense, though. Just think about how we've gone from the need to massive engines with huge displacement counts to make the power we desire. Today we have four cylinder engines that crank out amazing amounts of horsepower. Hopefully this is the same direction with respect to battery efficiency. Regardless, EV adoption is rising, and with all the pending legislation regarding new car sales with gas engines, it not only will rise more quickly, it kind of has to, at least in certain parts of the country where it makes the most sense.